Hello everyone, we have three machines with us today. We're gonna to be doing a video on why I pick these vacuums as my best budget picks, best buy vacuums. So first I'm gonna start off at $130 with the Hoover Total Home Pet. I would pick this machine as a great budget option, probably the best budget option I've used. And the main reasons are huge dirt bin. You can fill it all the way to right here. The max fill line is right there. It's two and a half liter capacity. It's very easy to empty. There's, you just press a single button right here and the dirt falls out. It does have a pre-motor washable filter right here. Very easy to remove, very easy to clean. Goes back in just like that, has a door. It says wash the filter once a month. I would recommend washing it once, once a month. Other thing I like is the brush roll shut off. A lot of machines at this price range don't have this. What the brush roll shut off does is it allows you to shut off your brush roll. And why you want to do that is because if you're on carpet and you're using the hose and you're pulling on it, objects and your carpet can get stuck in this brush roll and get shredded. I had a Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo Rewind that shredded a sock and a newspaper, two different, so two separate incidents but I shredded the sock and the newspaper and ate away at the edge of a rug and it destroyed the belt when it sucked into the sock because you can't shut off the brush roll. It's a simple mechanism. All it does is it pushes down on the belt to make it engage the brush roll or releases so it doesn't engage the brush roll and that turns the brush roll on and off. It also has HEPA filtration and it is a sealed system. It's not like a fully sealed HEPA system but it captures, I believe it was 90, 7% of particles at 0.5 microns, so pretty good. It has a very large HEPA filter that looks just like this, and it sits on the back right here. Just line it up like that. Make sure that you have it lined up correctly. And then it just snaps. It takes a lot of force to get it going. That's good because it seals in well. This is a very nice vacuum. It does have a pretty easy to reuse upholstery uh, cleaning attachment. You just push this little thing right here and it pops out. Now the things that I don't like, if you're wondering why the cord looks weird, that's a reason. The cord is, it rubs off on everything. If you're running it against your wall, it will rub black marks on your wall and it takes paint off with it. There's tons of paint under this that you can see. I tried to clean most of it off, but it was still there. <laughs> and another con, it's this crevice tool. This crevice tool is just ridiculous. It's too small. Here's my thumb next to it. it. Every bit of dirt I try and suck up gets stuck in there, so I don't use that tool anymore. But yeah, that is a good budget option for $130. Now up the range at $100 and I believe $170 is the Kenmore Progressive Upright. This Kenmore Progressive has a few features that I do like above the Hoover. It has the same more level height adjustment as the Hoover. It has, instead of a single cyclone, it has multi-cyclonic technology, and I'll show you that. The Hoover has a single cone in the middle, but this one has, I believe, eight or nine cyclones, something like that. The filter stays pretty clean. It also has a fully washable filter, but I like this filter because you can crush it down like this to help squeeze out some of the water. The Hoover's one is made out of rigid plastic, and you can't do that. It also does have a HEPA filter, and the HEPA filter sits right here. You press here, and then the HEPA filter pops out like that. It's a very nice HEPA filter. It's not even that dirty. I've used this machine quite a lot, and I've had it for a year now. And the filter's not even that dirty. You shouldn't have to worry about this for three, maybe four years of ownership of this machine. We also have Um, well, it also has a brush roll shut off. This brush roll shut off works a little differently. The brush roll is on right now. And when you pull it back, that turns it off. Now the brush roll is stopped. So how this brush roll shut off works is the vacuum will, this mechanism will pull the belt and pull it off of the motor. It lifts it and pulls it off of the motor so it doesn't engage the brush roll. So it just sits still and doesn't spin. So it works fine. 
so the tools are better on this Kenmore, I would say. This is a real crevice tool. Larger front opening, much longer. But let's get the Hoover one and I'm gonna compare these two side by side. That says a pretty big difference. Much larger in the front, much longer. It also has this airflow path, so if you put it against a flat surface, air can still get through to pick up the dirt in the sides. It doesn't have as good of a dusting brush. It's this dusting brush right here. It's not as good as the one on the Hoover, and that's the one thing that I like on the Hoover is the dusting brush. It's very good, but the turbo tool on the Kenmore is better. This turbo tool just generally outperforms the Hoover. The Hoover ones tend to clog really easily. This one I've used heavily and it still works brand new, just fine. The hose is also has a different design. This machine uses a, an air diverter valve. You can set it to the floor or to hose like that. So you can turn off the suction to the hose when you're cleaning the floor. So it's a shorter distance that the dirt has to travel just up this little tube right here. <clears throat> and then drag it to the bin. This machine is $170, as I said. It has pretty good agitation. The brush roll is quite powerful. It also has a 25 foot cord, which is two feet shorter than on the Hoover, but both the cords are fine. And then as our top model, that would be Kenmore Elite Crossover Ultra. Uh, I think this is $260, that's how much it usually goes for on Amazon. It is a good vacuum. It has more features than the other one. It has the same filtration system as the other one. They are literally identical. The same cyclones and the same type of filter. But it's slimmer and lighter. It also has a separate power nozzle, which has the ability to turn off the brush roll. There's a motor in here that you switch on or off, depending if you want to clean carpet or hard floor. It also has the Ultra Plus system where you open these vents and it releases suction from the head to allow you to glide over a really thick carpet. It also has, I believe, a 35 foot power cord, so it's a pretty long power cord. It comes with a two in one dusting brush carpet tool combo, and it works fine. But this is my least favorite dusting brush of all of them. It also comes with the same turbo brush tool that the Kenmore Progressive, the red vacuum, came with. So I don't need to show you that again. But the one thing that sets this apart is the instant access hard floor tool. You press the wand release, which is this button right here, and then some magic will happen. Not really, it's just this happens. Now we have a little hard floor tool to get into spots that the main nozzle won't fit. This is one of the coolest features I've ever seen on an upright vacuum. In fact, it probably probably meets the top five coolest features of a vacuum is an instant access hard floor tool. I found when I use this machine, I use that feature constantly because it's awesome. It works incredibly well. It also has a telescoping handle. So if you're a taller person, you can extend or retract the handle. I like it about here. But this vacuum is very good. It also, just like on both, they have suction relief valves. They work like this. You open and close that valve to release the or open more suction power. But my honest recommendation of these machines would probably be the Crossover Ultra. It's my favorite of these three. It's the most expensive, but it's the best. This one's a little bit easier to use. It's more maneuverable. It also is the most powerful, even though it has the smallest motor of them all. I don't know how this one would be more powerful than that one when they have the same cyclone design. This, the bins are exactly the same. I'll hold them next to each other. When, it is, when I say they're the same, they are the same bins. They are exactly the same size. You know what? Let's try something. Let's put the Progressive's bin on the Elite. Now, like I said, they're the same bin because the one fits the other one. So they are the same bin design. They look like they have the same body design. The airflow comes from the same spot. The hose goes in the same spot. The buttons are the same. The filters are the same. This curve looks the same. The only difference is this one has a separate head. 
and this one has a built-in head. This one also has no belt maintenance because the belt is geared. It also has the Ultra Plus system so we have shag carpets. This is one of the very few vacuums that can clean my shag rug under my cat litter pan. Like barely any, even the Dyson Ball Animal can, can't clean that rug. It's too powerful for that rug. The Kenmore also has one more thing up its, one more trick up its sleeve, I guess you'd say. You can pull up on this handle right here. It's right there. If you pull up on that, and then you press down, you can take your power head off, which will relieve you of about three or four pounds of vacuum. This isn't light, I can tell you that. Here's your brush roll. It's a pretty good brush roll. Very stiff bristles, well made. Lots of metal components in high stress areas. Very good brush roll, very heavy duty power nozzle. Works as expected and works very well. And now you can carry your machine around to clean your stairs. And there's the electrical connections for the power head. <clears throat> so my honest recommendation would be to purchase the Kenmore Elite. It is the best of these three vacuums, I think, and one of my favorite upright vacuums that I've tested so far. It is all, you can find these on Amazon. There's different models of them. There's actually one of these, it's the same design, just doesn't have quite as many features, and it costs $180, so 10 more dollars than this one. And that's the one I would say is probably a good buy too. The filtration is excellent. They capture basically everything that they suck up. The seals work perfectly. All the dirt gets trapped on that seal and it doesn't leak at all. This has amazing filtration. I think it's one of the best upright vacuums I have used to date. I would recommend this Kenmore Progressive Elite, sorry, as a really good upright option. It has incredible performance. I've used it for, I think I've had this for a month now, maybe two, three weeks. I have used it heavily and it works very well. And I would highly recommend this machine to anyone who's looking for a good but not insanely expensive upright vacuum. This is one of my favorites. The disadvantage of this is it's heavy. It's quite heavy. I think it's 23 pounds or something. It's not light. I can tell you that. So if you're looking for a lightweight vacuum, actually none of these are very light. I think the Hoover's the lightest. Let's pick them up. Heavy. Heavy, much lighter. Hoover is definitely the lightest. The Kenmores are a little bit more chunky and beefy. These two are very similar in design. If you put them next to each other, they look pretty similar in their general design. But I would recommend the Kenmore a little bit more because of the features and the performance seems to be a little bit better. The Hoover does have an anti-tangle brush roll, but as I said, at $130, this Hoover, you cannot beat it. The Kenmore's are more, especially the Kenmore Crossover Ultra is much more expensive, $260 to $300, depending when you buy it. But it's a good option. It works incredibly well, this Kenmore. And I would recommend this machine has a very good upright option.